I'm Action News Jack's meteorologist Corey Sima as we have some sunshine and uh, nice temperatures after a very chilly start on Thursday morning. We were back down in the 40s. Jacksonville officially made it to 41 with Gainesville down to 38. This was the third morning in a row. We were in at least the 40s, including one morning in there in the 30s. So it has been cold out there to start the last few days, but we have rebounded very nicely. Afternoon highs made it to at least 77 in Jacksonville, above the average of 75, nearing 80, farther to the south of I-10. You know what the dry and sunny weather doesn't help at all? It's that pollen, and we are seeing insane counts of the oak from Dr. Brian Seymour at Edward Waters University. Dr. Seymour counts these by hand. The oak count, once again, more than doubled from last week compared to this week. That was what we saw the week prior as well. It looks like oak is peaking. We'll have more information on that as we move forward into next week. But the bottom line is, if you're an allergy sufferer and it's the oak, uh, you're probably feeling it. I'm right there with you. I think we have it the max one to two more weeks to go before the oak peaks, and then it just gets out of here. We have the mainly clear skies on our satellite and radar imagery with a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds down to the south of Palatka. We do have clouds starting to stream overhead approaching I-75. This is ahead of our next storm system, and we can see the rain on the map along the northwestern Gulf Coast with showers from Texas, Louisiana and Mississippi. That storm system is going to track right into our area and it is going to have an impact on Friday and at least part of the weekend. In fact, by early Friday morning, 7 a.m., you see the bright colors scattered across most of northeast Florida and southeast Georgia. So the morning commute may be messy out there Friday morning. There's your first alert on that. Temperatures will be in the 60s and we're going to stay in the 60s and 70s through the day while the areas of rain continue through the day. I don't think it's going to rain all day long on Friday, but it looks particularly wet, especially the first half of the day into the afternoon. By noon, you still see rain is around Jacksonville and up into southeast Georgia. There's a bit of a break in the rain as we move into Friday afternoon and evening, but there may still be a couple of showers around. Then we roll into Saturday. Saturday morning starts OK, but there will be a few showers and maybe a rumble of thunder or two as we look ahead to Saturday afternoon. So the best chances for rain are going to be Friday and then into Saturday, but primarily later in the day. Sunday is dry, but there are other weather changes moving in as we stay dry into the beginning of next week as well. And those other weather changes are onshore winds. We're going to see those especially brisk on Sunday and Monday. That's going to keep our afternoon temperatures cooler at the beach. We're going to have a high risk for rip currents and of course rough seas and surf with northeast winds at times around 20 to 30 miles per hour. The temperatures don't get too cold with that onshore wind. We do dip into the 60s Sunday afternoon, but then we ease back up into the mid and upper 70s by Monday and Tuesday of next week. And those mornings don't get that cold either. Uh, we certainly don't have the 30s in view. There may be some neighborhoods inland in the 40s, especially as we look ahead to Sunday and Monday. But that being said, it's not going to be too cold.